Hello everyone and welcome Fish Tank family. Today on The Legends, we will be featuring the legendary Stanley Schubel. It's New Year's Eve, December 31, 1953. The people in Sandusky are having the time of their life. The Christmas lights are still shining across the streets, the firework crew is busy setting their arenas. The state of Ohio is buzzing with Christmas songs. However, a particular neighborhood seems to be more involved, with more family and friends partying in a backyard. It's the celebration for the marriage of Stan to Ethel. Stan walks indoors alone in the garage, watching the sunset. Stan begins to reflect on his life. He takes a mental walk into his past, back when he lived with his parents, Harold and Virginia, Stevens, Schubel, who had given birth to him in Detroit. He remembered when he was a 14-year-old boy, back in 1947, who was jovial and agile. Now, he had settled down and got married to a beautiful lady. He pictured himself sitting on a desk, doing what he does best in the U.S. Army, a computer technician, who was good at his job. Now he was a U.S. veteran. A crowd is cheering in the auditorium for the International Fancy Guppy Association IFGA. Stan Schubel has just been named as the IFGA Grand Overall Male Champion back-to-back -back for three years in a row, that is 2000 through 2002. The IFGA, founded back in 1965, was an organization that anyone would be glad to be a member of as it was a source of great enjoyment to both members and non-members, and Stan had just won several of its awards. This came as a surprise to some, while to others, it is what they had expected, because Stan was always top of his game in his projects. Well, this was going to be repeated in history during the years 2009, 2014 and 2015. He realizes this was one of the reasons why everyone loved him so much. He also recalled each and every award he received, that is, as the Guppy Man of the Year 2000, 2001, 2002, 2009, 2014 and 2015. He felt the crowd cheers, the smiles on guppy enthusiasts and the heartwarming moisture that these shows produced. One accolade was however, embedded in his mind. A grin filled his face every time he recalled that special moment. He had been crowned as a master breeder by the IFGA. He recalled how his teenage dream, back in 1940s, came to life. Stan sets up his first tank in the year 1956. Day after day he sees the progress in his work. He increases the number of tanks for his fancy guppies. It was a long journey. He relates the current breeds of fancy guppies in present and the ones he owned at first. A smile fills his face. Those fish would have been considered as semi-fancy as at today's standards. He walks over to his collection of trophies and awards. These guppy fish had surely won hundreds of them. This was something anyone could have been proud of. However, this was not the end of their success. They had provided a foundation for breeding stocks to all top guppy breeders over the years. Twenty years had passed. Stan had advanced in his project. He had moved from breeding fancy guppy fish to creating his own master blend fish food since he was not satisfied with the quality of foods that were dry. Up to recent times he had perfected his blend because more ingredients were readily available. It's true he was gifted in many areas, the man of many talents, but yet, he was humble and kind to everyone always. Stan Schubel sits outside his home. The kids are out playing, the sun is out shining, it's a beautiful day to write a book. Stan begins to write the book, The Proper Care of Guppies. It is one of his many writings such as The Aquarium Care of Guppies, both of which were published by TFH. His inspired books are aimed to be of great benefit to both the amateur breeders as well as middle-level guppy breeders. He ensured that the information in these books captured a broad range of information on how to carry out breeding of guppies. He thus offered a critique on breeding of fancy guppies that can enable any enthusiast of fancy guppies to become a top breeder. Moreover, he portrays his photography skills by including incredible shots to add that juice into his writings. Among his tips include, changing water on a regular basis, keeping watch not to overfeed the fish and also monitoring the feeds. The years have now elapsed and a lot has been achieved. He walks back outside to share these great moments with his friends. Schubel, the legendary Stanley Schubel, a husband, a father, a friend.
true renaissance man, an author, architect, photographer, a world-renowned, guppy man, and a legend, Stanley Schubel gets a send-off of a hero. Mommy Wada family, in this legend series who would you like to see featured next? Jim Alderson? Or Alan S. Bias? Comment and let us know below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button. And share this video with your family and friends. Thank you.